Tyson school outfits. Not finna waste time, let's go ahead and get into it. Also, shout out to Grimey for this video idea. He really been going crazy these past couple of months, so go ahead and show him love. Number one, the saggers. Bro, I'm gonna be so for real. Sagging in the high school never made sense to me. Like, as a straight man, you were literally just exposing your cheeks to the whole world, bruh. Like, there is no reason for your pants to be below your knee buckles, bruh. Like, what are you doing? And most of the time, people just do it because they think it looks cool or they think they're hard for doing it. Like, no, bruh. Like, all you finna do is just get it's hard. <laughs> and then half the time the people who be doing it be wearing gucci belts and shit bro like what's the point of wearing a belt if you just finna sag your pants bro like let's be real i'm pretty sure we all know the type of people who sag i'm not finna get into it but some eggers be sagging too bro don't sleep on them you also got a few m ms in there too so hey and i guarantee if half the people who sag looked up the origins of sagging they would not do it no more doing that fruity ass shit bro that's crazy all in all this is just a terrible way to dress and if you do this bro just stop it bro you is not hard next we got the basic hoes again they always make an appearance on my videos i don't even know okay we all know these type of girls bro like let, let, let's be real these are the type of people that always be wearing skims leggings or them little tiktok trend pants that you you know the ones i'm talking about the ones that make your butt look bigger heard those are uncomfortable by the way so if you wearing those we all know what you're doing don't forget the lululemons they got at least five pair of those we already know how they shoe game looking like terrible crocs chucks and beat up forces the terrible beat up forces that just just buy some brand new forces bro it, it is never that hard or just clean them like it is never that serious walking around with beat up forces just shouldn't be a part of like your image it, it's just nasty don't do that it just looks bad whenever i see a girl with beat up forces i just think she stinks like i just think she's dirty and she stinks that's it I, i'm sorry i'm sorry that's just how i feel especially if they from the north they always be wearing uggs north face and they always got a pumpkin spice latte on them at all times i know that's not fashion but it's just a part of them it's just a part of their look these girls always wear crop tops too if they're not wearing crop tops they're wearing an oversized t-shirt it's one or the other pick or choose overall this is just a chill kind of casual drip i ain't gonna lie to you definition of middle of the pack just basic like them and also all the whitewashed black girls be wearing this too so i guess you can count them in y'all still queens but y'all queens in the north let's just say that next we got the skinny jeans i'm not gonna lie to you to an extent these type of people be on the same type of time as some saggers like i'm not finna sit here and just lie to y'all i do wear skinny jeans from time to time but it's never to the point where i'm looking like this like some of y'all for real be cutting off circulation through y'all legs just to wear some skinny jeans bro like it's never that serious and if you're actually skinny wearing skinny jeans just don't like stop wearing that bro you gonna look terrible every time gonna be looking like you from the atl bro and plus sometimes if you wear them too tight it does look fruity i'm not gonna lie that's why i kind of categorize this with the saggers but if you have a decent rated skinny these are a top tier fit i'm not gonna lie to you but never wear skinny jeans and sag bro like that's not a good combination you finna be looking like a fruity twig bro just don't do it over here looking like the guy from the apple jacks box next we got the golf kids okay the golf kids always wear all black we already know that but like these new age golf kids have evolved bro like they went from wearing this to this yeah you might not think it's evolution but it definitely is honestly i don't mind the golf kids their fits are whatever just don't walk in with a bowl cut or, or the 2012 type of haircut you know exactly the one i'm talking about i ain't gonna lie if i see you with that combination i'm flaming the shit at you but hey you really can't blame me at that point bro like you 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 doing it to yourself bro i'm just being real in my opinion the fishing nets look cool it definitely looks good on some people more than others like if you're over the weight of 300 pounds I'm not trying to be that guy, but like, I gotta be that guy. Stay off the fish nest. I ain't gonna lie, it don't look good. It just fits a certain body type. Like, it's just not for everybody. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, that's good. Also, the blue hair and fishnet combo is always a recipe for disaster. Stay away from those. But besides that, these people are pretty chill. As long as they ain't bringing no trench coat to school, I'm fine with y'all fit. But I swear to God, if you bring that shit out, I'm leaving the school. Next, we got the people who be wearing pajamas to school. Okay, I don't know why this trend started, but I actually don't mind it. I get the comfortability asset. You know, pajama pants are very comfortable, especially the plaid ones. My only problem with it, though, if I see people walk in school with pajama pants, I instantly think they're musty. Like, I don't know if it's just a me thing or if it's universal but i just smell the must off of you like i just automatically just don't want to go near you like if you don't come to school with some fresh pajamas you're just a nasty person i don't care what you say like all the sweat must and grime you just have when you're sleeping should never be transported out your house bro i'm just being real and if you come to school with those musty ass clothes i honestly just don't want to be friends with you like that's just an automatic thing but the people that be actually wearing fresh pajamas to school oh cool y'all chill just never be one of those people who just wake up and just come to school that's just nasty next we got the euphoria girls these also be the girls that be dressing up like they maddie from euphoria maddie and cassie don't forget cassie cassie's so fine bro i'm sorry 
God damn. Like, these the girls that be wearing fits like this and then be wondering why they getting dress coded, bro. Like, bro, you got half your ass out, bro. Like, what do you expect? Be over here looking like a hooker. These girls always wear the crop tops. They always wearing booty shorts or them cut off jeans. For sure got skims, leggings, all that. They, they, they specialize in leggings, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, they'll wear the tightest leggings you've ever seen and then get mad when a guy's looking at them, bro. Like, bro. What the hell do you expect? And I swear to God, these girls would come with the sluttiest fit on a random Tuesday morning, bro. Like, why are you trying to show out so hard? Half the time, these girls don't even look good doing it. It'd be some body positivity girls coming in with booty shorts and crop tops, bro. Like, I ain't gonna lie to you, gang. I ain't trying to hurt your ego or your grind or whatever, bro. But, like, that's not it. Hey, but God still give them attention, though. So, hey, you're doing something right. Most of the time, these type of girls be the hot Cheeto girls. But if they're not the hot Cheeto girls, they're most likely the school bops. Most of the time, you'll find these type of girls on the school exposed pages and you know exactly what you'll find them for overall do what you do i ain't finna shame you but i'ma just be real you want attention there's other ways to do it you don't gotta do all that next we got in my opinion the worst one the furries disclaimer i am no means intend to shame other people or even kink shame other people but these people don't consider themselves people. They consider themselves dogs. So I can shame them all I want to. Bro, I will never get the fascination of being a furry. Like, what? what is wrong with some people? And then not to only do that, but to come to school looking like this. Like, some people be dead ass wearing tails to school. Like, what are you doing? Be meowing and barking and howling and all that. Like, bro, it's just nasty. Like, what are you doing? Like, it's just so corny, bro. Like, I don't want to see that, bro. Like, those type of people deserve to be bullied. I'm sorry. They do. Then I seen one school added a whole litter box because they had this one cat furry, bro. Like, what is society coming to? Like, why is this okay? We need to shame this. I swear to God, if you're a furry watching me, I love you. Like, you, you part of the fam. I fuck with you, right? But, hey, gang -o. Anger Lynch, Anger Tron. We gotta switch it up, Gango. Like we gotta switch it up. We can't. We can't keep on doing that. You know what I mean? Like I swear to God, don't ever let me catch you on fours, hands and knees with a tail. Oh, I swear to God, I'll fry your ass so bad. I swear to God, we gotta bring bullying back. I'm sorry. It's, it's just it's a must at this point, bro. I'm sorry. Lastly, in my opinion, we got one of the best groups. The chill people, aka the NPCs. These type of people just wear sweatpants, hoodies, just, just a casual fit. Maybe occasionally they're gonna wear some skinny jeans. Maybe occasionally they might wear some Lululemons. It's just casual. This group is pretty much most of us. Either that or you're in the NPC group, which is basically the same thing, so yeah. Anyways, uh, that's the end of the video. Tell me which group y'all are. I wanna hear that in the comment section. Also, thank you for the support of my last video. I might start doing more of these type of videos since y'all like it a lot. But yeah, uh, also. Also, disclaimer, these are all jokes. We all should know that, but don't get offended. But anyways, thank y'all for watching. Follow all my socials, Twitch, Discord. Y'all already know the drill. Tell me if y'all want a part two. And besides that, that's pretty much it. So, hey, appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you, and goodbye.